Paramount's King's Dominion near Richmond, Virginia, introduces another breed of scream machine in which we humans can enjoy our worst fears. Hypersonic XLC opened in March 2001, claiming the fastest acceleration of any ride in the world, 0 to 80 in 1.8 seconds. Hypersonic is intense. It's the best coaster in the world. This new breed of coaster shoots riders 165 feet upwards at a 90 degree angle. Then it brings them down the other side at the same angle of descent. The makers say all this and the smooth ride is possible because of the tires. These wheels are pneumatic field aircraft tires as opposed to the traditional wheels on a roller coaster which are urethane. Designed by a company in Utah, Hypersonic XLC is also innovative because it doesn't use a traditional chain lift. We have two 250s and two 300 horsepower compressors. Uh, each one of them puts out between 100 and 145 pounds of pressure. Each one goes through a dryer that dries the air, it filters the air, and then sends it out underground to our tanks out underneath the towers. We charge the shot tank with air, and then we release that into the piston tank, which drives the piston all the way down 140 feet, which is where we get the speed for the train. The compressed air propulsion system was designed by SNS Power. SNS is known for its freefall rides, which use compressed air to propel riders up and down towers hundreds of feet high. SNS's owner, Stan Checkett, wondered if he could take one of his vertical tower rides, lay the structure on its side, and launch it using the same technology. This is a catapult launch system, just like the ones they have on aircraft carriers. Uh, as the launch dog brings itself back and arms it, as you can see right now, the next train will be coming forward, and it will come up and grab hold right here onto the launch dog. With no other coaster in the world like it, it has crowds lining up at the gate. We're finding that people generally fall into two different categories. There are those that cannot wait to ride hypersonic and those who wouldn't ride it in a million years. So is it worth the wait? It was really good. It definitely worth the wait. We wait like for three hours, you know, we went on the line, but it was worth it all the way. I don't know, I like it better than like a red or roller coaster. Everything out here, this one's better. That was something else. It was uh, nerve-wracking. At first year, anticipation kills you, of course. I was so scared! It scared the living mess out of me. I think I peed in my pants. I had an instant facelift. <laughs> very scary. It was awesome. That was awesome. That was very cool. So fast. OK. When you first launch, and you get pinned back. Now we can just turn up 90 degrees. You just come straight down. You think you're going to go right off the edge. Oh, that's the adrenaline rush. It, it left your stomach up there. My stomach is still up there. It was, it was good. You go really, really fast and go up, and you can see the whole part going down. It was way extreme. I'm talking about like... Breathtaking. Insane. <laughs> this is the ride of your life. <laughs> Hold on. Let's do it again with the rider DeMonte Hunter in the front seat of Hypersonic. Right now we're prepping to the launch area. In about six seconds, I'll be blasting off from zero to 80 miles in 1.8 seconds. Hold on. Oh my God! Oh my god! Oh my god! Woo! What up, Oh my god!